Hi everyone, welcome back to Rihanna's Kitchen Corner. In this video, I am going to take you guys to Galmar Barn. It's a mountain roller coaster. The Galmar Barn is many things at once. A roller coaster, a hidden gem, an attraction in an unbeatable high alpine scenery, a super steep funicular, a gorgeous lake destination and of course a ride of lifetime. The Gilmer Band makes it Europe's steepest open air funicular which definitely adds to the appeal of this unique attraction which very much resembles a roller coaster. Once you have reached the top, it's just a short walk to the beautiful alpine lake of Gilmer Sea. You can hike all around the lake. It may take at least two hours for hiking around the Gilmer Sea. The views over the lake and the mountains are just stunning as you walk around the lake. When I was walking first, I got scared what's happening, but he is capturing the beautiful view of this, you know, lake and the mountains. As you can see, there are many people walking down there. There are many trails. If you have time, you can do that. It will be fun. Since we booked the distance in two hours, we have to be back at the station. Total hiking around the lake will take minimum of two hours. Since you need to book your distance in advance to make sure you allow sufficient time um, at least 2 hours if you finish hiking all the way around the lake. Since we were on short on time, we decided to turn back instead of continuing the path when it got a little tricky. And some of the people, they were doing the circular hike and it took, and it took uh, at least two hours to complete. We certainly didn't want to miss our funicular down. The funicular only has a capacity of 24 seats. You can either buy a one-way ticket opting to hike one from the lake back down to hand track or round trip riding in the cable car both ways if you choose to hike down it takes about an hour to reach the bottom uh, if you are still in the mountains so even in the summer it can get pretty chilly bring appropriate layers it's a popular attraction and tickets are limited and it's allowed very quickly so uh, suggested to reserve online okay now we are going for the gelber barn descent the descent back to the off uh, ticket office on the gelber barn is sure is steep all i can say is that it was an adventure but if you don't have a head for heights then maybe uh, give this one a miss or certainly don't sit in the front ones like i did on the decline the carriage is open at the front which makes you feel more exposed but there is a roof over the rear seats which gives you a greater feeling of security. You will be strapped into the open air by a single metal bar and if you have got a fear of heights it's best to prepare yourself for a thrill of a lifetime 
while it is extremely steep this railway isn't a roller coaster it only goes 4.5 miles per hour which gives you plenty of time to take the epic surroundings and still have your stomach drop Gelfarbahn is undoubtedly the steepest passenger funicular railway in Europe. Originally built to transport building material weighing several tons, this technological masterpiece now offers an unforgettable rail experience. The Gelfarbahn roller coaster funicular is a popular tourist attraction and due to its limited capacity sells out fast in the high season. So online booking in advance is strongly recommended. The passenger car takes 24 people on a 12 minute ride up the steep mountain side from Handeck, 1400 meter above sea level with sweeping views over Hasli Valley to Lake Galmar where there are many hiking trails to explore. We are reaching back to the ticket station. Next batch people are waiting there. They seem excited. I'm sure they'll have fun. After successfully surviving Gelmarban, we visited the Hand Hanging Bridge, which is just in front of it across the gorge. The bridge was swaying a little as it was a quite windy, but in comparison to the Gelmarban, it was a piece of cake. This suspension bridge is a connection between the Galmar Funicular and the Handa Hotel. The bridge is 70 meters long and um, hangs 70 meters above the Handa Gorge and offers a splendid views of the Handa Waterfall and the surrounding mountains. family was so afraid of the heights you know i don't want to say who it is but you know we all did it it was amazing don't miss it after crossing the bridge some restaurants are on the other side as well as the hiking trail so if you wish you can continue that the galmar bond the galmar sea and the hand hanging bridge makes a great day out for all the family When it's windy, it's super fun. Slightly scary uh, walk from the funicular to the other side of the highway. This is my fifth video from Switzerland. I'll put the links in the description box. Please do check it out. My other videos and let me know your feedbacks. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Hope you like it. I'll see you soon back with another exciting video. Bye. Take care.